So this is Robert French at French's Farms. It is now November the 16th, 17th. Anyway, we had a frost two nights ago, not last night, but the night before. It got down to 27 degrees. The night before that, it got down to about 30 or 29. Uh, but uh, this Moringa, which they say on the internet can't handle below 40 degrees, uh, you can look at it and see that it is not hurt by that cold. See the flowers, flowers there are not hurt. And uh, can we get a close up of those Lee? You can see that looks just as pretty as, as it would on a, uh, on a summer day. There's nothing wrong with that Moringa. It's perfectly good. And uh, so this is very encouraging. I, I'm now encouraged that the Moringa will survive here much better than uh, they had said. Now here, the peppers usually handle down to 28 degrees. Let's just show that the peppers got destroyed by that frost and the, uh, the Moringa did not get hurt. And uh, so the, the Moringa is even more resistant to the cold than the bell peppers are. You can see that the, uh, the foliage here got killed, but the foliage of the Moringa is still alive. See there? You see, you see, you get bell peppers themselves are okay, most of them. But, uh, or maybe most of them are not okay. I think a bird did that. But yeah, you can see that, that uh, look at the Moringa. Look at the Moringa and then look at the bell pepper. Which one got hurt worse? And bell, these, these are the cutter. These are the cutter bell peppers that, uh, 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 that can handle down. This is the most cold hardy bell pepper. So that's pretty impressive. So that's all, you know, I just wanted to show y'all that uh, uh, these are doing good. And then, uh, Henry, can we just go up here and look real quick at the, uh, the bed that I mulched so that we can, we can see that. I mulched uh, that bed of Moringa, got it under a foot of, uh, of hay and wood shavings here. And these are the Moringa that... Uh, I started these, I just shoved cuttings in the ground to see what that would do. And even these, you can see, even these are not that bad. Uh, they're turning a little yellow, but even these that are not even growing in very good soil are, you can, you can see, you know how that's doing. It helps if, if they're growing in better soil, but both of them survived the frost. So that's a very good sign. I think my Moringa is going to come back in the springtime. <coughs> and, um, but this is where I had mulched that bed of Moringa. It's under about a foot or ten inches of, uh, of sawdust and wood chips. So I'm pretty sure those are going to survive the winter and sprout back in the springtime. So that's it. Okay.